Welcome back to the workshop for one last example on directed graphs. And again, we're connecting directed graphs back to regular graphs using a concept or idea that we have previously discussed or that you may already be familiar with. So we want to talk about Euler circuits and paths. We want to determine if the following directed graph has a directed Euler circuit or path. And if it does, we want to find it. Well, previously, if we had that the, uh, let's see, the degree of each vertex was even, then we would have an Euler circuit. And if we had that the degree of every graph was even except for two, which would be odd then, so two would be odd, then there would be an uh, Euler path. So here we have to make sure that we can still travel along the edges and get ourselves, to travel along the edges in the correct direction and get ourselves an Euler circuit path. So how, how does the theorem change that allows us to determine if there is an Euler circuit or path? Well, if the in degree matches the out degree at every vertex, then of course, whatever that is, say if it were three, degree three in, degree three out, then that would overall have a degree six. So when the degrees match the in and out degree, then it has an even degree. And if that's the case for every single vertex, in degree matches out degree, then we would have a directed Euler circuit, right? Or the existence of one. If we have that the uh, in degree and out degree matches everywhere except at two vertices, where one of those vertices has uh, one more out, uh, the degree out is one higher, and on the other one, the degree in is one higher, then we would be able to create a path or add an edge from here to here, right? The degree in was one higher, so we added an out to match the degree in and out. Over here, the degree out was higher, we just added an in, so now the degrees there match. And if we were to do that, if we can add an edge to make an Euler circuit exist, then certainly an Euler path will exist as well. So in this case, we want to, again, determine if an Euler circuit or path exists. And if it does exist, we want to try and find one. And we'll use the same or a similar algorithm that we use for regular graphs instead of directed graphs. So, all right, so for A... Uh, I want to first note that the degree in is 1, the degree out is 1. So the degrees match in this case. For B, the degree in is 1, the degree out is 1, so the degrees match. For C, the degrees match. For E, the degrees match. For D, the degrees match. For G, the degrees match. And for F, the degrees match. So in this case, we know that an Euler circuit, a directed Euler circuit, exists. And now we just have to find one. So we begin by choosing some circuit. Okay? It doesn't matter which circuit we choose, uh, but we begin with a circuit. So step one of this is begin with a circuit. And we can choose any circuit that we like. Uh, there are many options here. Uh, I'm going to start with something relatively basic. I'm going to choose A, B, D, A. So I'm traveling from A to B, B to D, and then D to A. If you want to mark off the edges in this way, that would be okay. But otherwise, we should keep a tally of the edges. So let me add that somewhere. Uh, let's see. Do I have that labeled? I don't have it labeled. So let's go with edge uh, A, B, D, D, E, F, G, H, I, and J. Okay, so all of the edges are labeled, giving us an edge set. We want to 
uh, remove these as needed. So I'm going to write this up here. Maybe I should have written it above that, and that would have been why. But that's okay. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and J is our set of edges. Excellent. So this traveling A, B, D, A travels A, B, and C. A, B, and C. So we've already got three edges taken care of. Again, on an Euler circuit, or on a directed Euler circuit, our goal is to travel all of the edges in the graph. So we've traveled three of them. Let's see if we can add to that. So the next step would be to find a circuit to splice in. So what I want to do is I want to take some vertex in the circuit I already have, and at one of those vertices, add in another circuit. Well, I can't add anything in at A because there's nothing there. I can't add anything in at B because, again, there's nothing there. So here at D, I have something that I can add. So let's add D to E, E to C, and C to D. So I want to add D to E, E to C, and then C back to D. Again, that's making sure that I'm traveling the correct direction on each directed edge. So that's the first part, and then I want to add uh, the circuit in. So I want, I found a circuit to splice in, and now I want to actually do that. So this individual instance of D is going to be replaced with this entire sequence. So I have A, B, D is being replaced with D, E, C, D, and that gets rid of some edges for me. I travel F, E, and D. F, E, and D. Excellent. So quite a bit further. Uh, but of course, I haven't checked everything off from my collection of edges yet. So I want to try again. I want to find another edge. Or find another circuit to splice in. Now, I would continue doing this, right, if I find a little bit more to splice in, and that's not everything, I would continue on. In this case, I'm going to find everything to add. So I already looked at these edges, so I'm just looking at these guys down here. So the only thing that I can join in at is E. So I'm going to find a circuit that begins and ends at E, and I'm going to replace this individual instance of E with that entire circuit. Excellent. So we have E to G, G to F, F to G, and G to E that we can travel. E to G, G to F, F to G, and G to E. So that was E, G, F, G, E. And then I want to add it in. Add these circles. So I'm replacing this one instance of E with this entire circuit. So I have A, B, D. E is being replaced with all of this. G, F, G, E. And now I pick back up where I left off. C and D. Now that got me the four edges G, H, I, and J. So I've used up all of my vertices, or all of my edges rather, and I have gone from, oh, uh, let's see here, I forgot to copy something over in each case. Yes, I went to, oh, well, that was just doing this right there. I returned back to A, and here I'm returning back to A. Excellent. So I have all of my edges used. And I begin and end at A, and I've traveled the correct direction on each edge. So that is how we can find an Euler uh, circuit, a directed Euler circuit. So this right here, having everything, having all of the edges used, is our directed Euler circuit.
Excellent. That's all that I have for you guys on directed graphs. So I look forward to talking to you about the next uh, topic, which off the top of my head, I don't know what it is. So I'll see you guys in the workshop soon. I hope you have a wonderful day.